Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got a new unboxing video to share with you all today and this is the Autumn Essentials Beauty Box. So this is perfect for changing season. We're coming into the month of October now. So I just thought it'd be lovely to come on and share with you what's inside the Autumn Essentials Beauty Box. Now the products in here are worth £145. Three of the products are full size and the box is only £24, so it's an absolute bargain. I do have a discount code for the company as well that I'll share with you all at the end, but let's go ahead and find out what's inside this box. Now, the company is Naturissimo, which you'll know that I've shared a video of before on my page. Um, their products are all natural, sustainable, cruelty-free company. So let's go ahead and find out what's inside the Autumn Essential Beauty Box. I'll give these all a little sneak peek and then I'll just go through the products one at a time. So that's a little sneak peek. And then let's just share with you what we have inside. Now I'm first of all going to start with this one here. There isn't a card in here, so I'm going to try and find out if I can leave the prices either on the page or linked below. But I'm imagining that the first one is a full size product. So this is the first product we have here and it's from the Organic Pharmacy and it's the Honey and Jasmine Mask. So this is going to firm and moisturise our skin. This is what it looks like here. So it says it's honey and aloe and it's for dry or dehydrated skin. It's a natural product. I've actually not used the organic pharmacy products before, so I'm really excited to try this out. And honey and jasmine sounds beautiful. That's going to be really nourishing for our skin throughout the colder winter autumn months. So I'll just let you have a little look what it looks like here. So yeah, it's just a lovely mask um, to firm and moisturise the skin. It's a 60 ml. I'll see if I can find out the price of this and as I said, I'll link it below. And it just says, apply a generous layer to cleanse skin, leave for 10 to 20 minutes and remove with a muslin cloth soaked in hand hot water. Optimum results, a thin layer can be left to absorb overnight. So yeah, that's going to be lovely to use. So that was the first product in there. So we've got a lovely honey and jasmine mask to use on our skin. The next product I'm going to go to I'm just going to let you know how many products are in here because I forgot to share that with you at the beginning. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six products in the box and they're worth over £145 and the box was only 24 So yeah, really good value. I'm just going to go to the next one in line, which is from Daughter Hushka. And this is it here. So this is a hydrating hand cream. Now we all need a good hand cream throughout the winter months. And sorry if the lighting's not great in this video, it's a very dark day in Scotland <laughs> today. The weather is very dark and dull outside. It is still early afternoon, but we're in autumn season now, the 1st of October. So yeah, it's I've got my ring light on, but this is as bright as I can go. So if you can just bear with me. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the Dr. Hushka Hydrating Hand Cream. This is it here, and this is a 20ml just to keep your hands silky soft. So I'll just let you have a little look at the tube so you can see. I'm not sure if this one is a, a full size product or not, but I'll be able to let you know. I'll have a wee look again, like I said, and that's a 20 ml product. So yeah, that's going to be great just to go in the handbag or at bedtime. I always leave a hand cream at my bedside table. So it's the last thing I do before going to bed is put some hand cream on and I usually do rub it into my feet as well. So it's like a little treatment while you're sleeping for your skin, just to keep your hands and feet nice and soft. So that's going to be a lovely one to use. I've only tried their Dr. Hushka cleansing cream which I did get in the last Naturissimo beauty box and I did enjoy it it was quite an unusual texture um, it was more kind of it kind of granules in it so you had to kind of press it into the skin I have tried their products before and yeah they're a very well-known good brand for skincare so that was the second product in the box and the third product we have in here is from a company that I love that I've started using some of their products recently and it's from Pi and it's the Vegan Collagen. So this is a restoring booster. So it just says apply one to two drops directly to skin or blend with moisturizer or serum. Um, avoid contact with the eyes. So yeah, Pi is a lovely natural skincare company. Their products are beautiful. I did have their bronzing drops that I think I got in, I think it was a different beauty box, I can't remember what company it was, but yeah, their bronzing drops were lovely too. And yeah, their products are all natural, sustainable. This is in a glass bottle, little dropper bottle. This is a 10 ml and their products are vegan, 
um, cruelty free X product we have in here so that's going to be a lovely little serum just to restore our skin and obviously just to put collagen into it and give it a lovely boost throughout the months where it's getting colder here. Um, in Scotland obviously in autumn and winter this is our time of year where we start getting the cold weather, our heating's on more so that can strip a lot of moisture from our skin and leave our skin quite dehydrated. Obviously if we're out in the cold weather as well that strips moisture from the skin too so it is quite good to maybe change up your skincare routine in the autumn months with the change of season and just change some of your products as well so I would probably go for more kind of hydrating, nourishing, thicker creams just to make sure the moisture stays in my face and it doesn't dry out. So a little product like this is going to be great for that. For MD New here, my name's Pamela and I've been a beauty and spa therapist for the last 22 years. So yeah, if you are new here and you enjoy watching beauty videos and unboxings and getting tutorials, I'll do some tutorials as well, um, which I have a link those below, but make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss out. Just I just realised there I hadn't introduced myself so for MD that's new to this video, hello and welcome to the channel. Um, you've got a professional here talking to you so you're in good company and yeah, I'll get a lobby share with you the best advice and the best tutorials. So that was the third product we have in here. The fourth product I'm going to share with you all is from Indy Lee. This is it here. I've not used this company before. I have heard of it before but just never got around to trying their products. So this is a cleanser. So it's to cleanse and refresh the skin. This is obviously not full size. This product is just a 15 mil. So yeah, I am familiar with the name. I've just not tried it before. And it just says, apply this cleanser to damp skin, massage and rinse. So yeah, I'm quite intrigued to see what this is like. I do love using a cleanser. I'm going to try a little bit of the consistency of this just to see what it's like and if there's a scent from it too. I do love a good cleansing balm. I've actually got a new cleansing balm that I'm starting for the month of October that I can't wait to share with you all. I've been using it for the past couple of nights. I did get one, I did get it in the beauty box, one of the recent Look Fantastic beauty boxes and I loved it so much I had to buy the full size so I will be sharing a tutorial of that in the next video um, so keep a lookout for that make sure you're subscribed to find out which one it is it's very fitting for this time of year so yeah I've been loving using it so if anybody's in the lookout for a great cleansing balm I love cleansing balms so yeah I've tried quite a few I can recommend some great ones to you but a cleansing cream is lovely to use as well so we're going to just have a little look at this texture and see what it smells like so this is it here and it's just very soft and gentle it smells there's not much of a smell from it I don't think there is a scent in it it's very natural and it's just going to be very gentle I feel as if this might be quite nice to use for maybe people with um, sensitive skin just because it's not got an overpowering scent and it's just quite a delicate scent and a soft texture so yeah, that's a great little product from Indie Lee. So that's something new to try. So yeah, can't wait to try that one. The next one we have is from Aurelia. And this is it here. And it's the Aurelia Brightening Eye Serum. So again, this isn't full size. This is just a 7ml. But when it comes to eye serums and eye products, like something like this size is usually all you would need. You just need a small amount of product. I did make an eye cream tutorial video that's had quite, I think it's had about over 20,000 views now. So I'll link it below if you haven't seen it yet. Just the how to apply eye product by a professional. Um, obviously, I've done a lot of facials over the years. And a lot of people I notice put their eye cream on wrong or any products around the eye, they just put too much on. So the rule of thumb is when it comes to your eye product, you only need to use the size of a grain of rice. I've seen people packing it on under the eyes and then they maybe wonder why they're getting like puffiness or dark circles. There's just too much product on the skin. And the skin under our eyes here is the thinnest part from the rest of the, of the face. So it's only a quarter thickness to the rest of the skin on our face. So we don't want to pack lots of product onto it, even though we might think that might be helpful to avoid wrinkles, fine lines developing, anti-aging. It's, it's, not, it's not the best way to apply your product under your eye because it's just going to sit under there and it's just going to be too overloading for that area, that delicate skin. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below. So when it comes to an eye serum like this, you're only going to use the size of a grain of rice as well. So a tube like this should last for quite a wee bit as well. Um, it just says it's targeted treatment for the eye area with arnica and shea butter. And again, it says apply a small amount to the eye area using it's always your ring finger. You're always going to want to use your ring finger and you don't want to go directly under the eye here when you're putting eye cream on. 
if you watch the tutorial you'll know where to put it but it's not under here so yeah just be mindful of that <laughs> I'll link it below and I'll share a wee video of it here so you can see um, but yeah so we've got a lovely little eye serum to use throughout the winter months throughout the autumn months so that's another great wee product and I'm guessing this is the last full size product in here it's from a company I'm not quite sure how to say the name of that company just because of the writing on it so if anybody knows how to say it's a it just says it organics but I don't know if it's Mimi or or something like that at the top here if MD can read that it's something organics but it, the way it's spelled I don't know if it's Mimi or yeah I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that so I'm not going to attempt it <laughs> I just think it says Mimi but it probably doesn't and it's just a detox oil so this is a rebalancing facial oil and it says it's rich in linoleic acid. This product is 30 mils. So I'll just let you see what it looks like. Um, it's got hemp, black cumin, jojoba, vitamin E, lavender, flower milk thistle. Yeah, a lot of nice products in there that are going to be lovely for the skin. Oh, it's Nini. <laughs> I've just noticed it says in the top there, Nini, if you can see that. I thought it was Mimi, but it's Nini. <laughs> So yeah, that's how that's the company name. It must be Nini Organics. So that was how I was looking at it there. I couldn't make out what this bit was, but it's Nini. So yeah, I know how to pronounce it now. <laughs> so we've got Nini Cosmetics. So this is the first time I've tried Nini. So let's go ahead and see what the what it looks like inside. And this is it here. So it's lovely to have, oh, this is a nice little bottle as well. So it's a glass bottle. I'd imagine this is a very sustainable company. It's the first time I've tried the product. Um, so yeah, if anybody's tried this before, comment below um, and it says ritual after cleansing, apply two to three drops onto damp skin and massage all over the face and neck in an upwards motion um, and it's organic, it's a UK, oh it's a UK based company, um, I'll need to find them on Instagram and follow them now <laughs> and it's also vegan so yeah, this is going to be a lovely one, it says it's a blend of blue tansy, lavender and tea tree suitable for all skin types but works particularly well on acne and breakout prone skin so this is going to be great if you have any breakouts if you're prone to getting breakouts on your skin any any kind of acne this is going to help clear it up obviously anything that's detoxing for the skin and his tea tree and lavender in there is brilliant for breakouts or spots or acne obviously the tea tree is very antiseptic and it's going to heal the skin it's going to clear it up and it's obviously going to help um, any kind of bacteria lavender is very calming so if you have irritation on your skin obviously the lavender is going to calm it right down so those two in there is a great combination um, for MD with breakouts jojoba oil is a very gentle oil it's great even if you do have an oily skin or breakouts as well it's not a thick oil um, so a lot of times people are frightened to use oils on their skin because they think if they already have spots or acne they're actually going to encourage more by putting more oil into the skin but a top tip is when it comes to obviously skincare if you do have breakouts and if you do have a lot of spots sometimes it's a sign that your skin's over producing too much oil so it's good to put something back on to bring the balance back to the skin so instead of stripping it all away and hoping it dries up that's the worst thing you can do you want to put a gentle oil like jojoba is a great one to use um, on the skin or rosehip that's another great one as well something that's really just going to bring balance but it's quite a light oil because the skin's natural oil is sebum so we do need a little bit of oil to put back in just to bring balance to that or the sebum just over produces and then we get breakouts and spots and a lot of it can be hormonal as well so just depending on your skin type and your lifestyle and your age as well all these factors come in into account as well when it comes to obviously breakouts and acne on the skin but it'll be interesting to try this little one I have had breakouts in my skin and I I think I did have quite bad kind of breakouts in my 20s. This is going to be a great little product to try and use for anybody. Um, I'll maybe give it a wee try myself because I do get prone to breakouts sometimes on my own skin, especially around the chin area, which is where your hormones kind of come out. So if you get breakouts in the chin, it's hormonal acne or hormonal breakouts. So yeah, this is just going to rebalance, um, a rebalancing facial oil rich in linoleic, linoleic acid. So it's going to detox and bring balance to the skin. And that's from Nini, <laughs> Nini Organics. So that's a full size product. It's a 30 mil. So that was the third full size product in there. So that was our sixth product. So our full sizes were the lovely mask and also the hand cream. I'm imagining that was a full size hand cream. Or if it wasn't that one, it's maybe the pie one. 
So yeah, it's one of these two. Um, but to get three full size products and to get this lovely little set for autumn skincare, that's kind of like all your autumn skincare kind of areas covered, isn't it? So we've basically got a lovely little mask and we've got our hand cream for our hands to keep them nice and soft. We've got a lovely cleanser to try, um, our lovely Indie Lee cleanser. We've got a little eye serum and we've got our lovely little um, vegan collagen concentrate as well. And yeah, so this is this so this is the Autumn Essentials Beauty Box from Naturissimo. Is this one that you would be interested in trying for yourself? As if it is, comment below. Have you tried any of these brands before? If you have, comment below. Some of them are quite new to me. Obviously, the Organic Pharmacy, Indie Lee, and yeah, Nini. <laughs> as I don't know how to pronounce it. So yeah, I'm excited to give those a go. And for twenty four pounds, it's an absolute bargain. But I did say that I could share with you all a little discount code that. I have with Naturissimo so you can save 15% so if MD did want to try this lovely little autumn essentials beauty box then you can save 15% off with my discount code so I'll link it here um, I think it's PAM15 but if not I'll, I'll put the right code here because I've got quite a few discount codes <laughs> to share with you so I'll, I'll leave all the other ones below as well in the description box if there's any other ones you wanted to check out as well as well as some of my other videos too I did recently just film the beauty advent calendar series so I think there's five of them up there just now so if you missed that I'll link them in the description box below and you can check those out as well. So far I'm very impressed with this little box I feel as if the products inside I'm going to enjoy using them all so yeah this is the one from Naturissimo for autumn so I will link the shop as well where you can find the products as well um, if you wanted to check out anything more from Naturissimo. The last one I did was the Earth Day box so I'll link that one below too that was a great one because I've recently started using the shampoo that was in it and it was from Audacity which is I think it was from California but it was a hair but it was a hair product so it was a it was a shampoo bar so I tried it for the first time yesterday and it was incredible so yeah it was it's got coconut and I think it was argan oil in there so I loved it so I'll give you all a, like a little update on using that as well um, and obviously I found the condition of my hair has been great since using it yesterday my hair looked great after trying it out so if you haven't seen that Naturissimo unboxing I'll link that one below as well so you can check it out I have recently started a little beauty um, private beauty club on the channel for membership so if you did want to have access to behind the scenes unboxings before they actually come out I'll be sharing with you like behind the scenes footage I did upload a video yesterday which was the first one on the beauty club membership channel um, it is the same channel as this I'll leave the link below if you wanted to join it's only 99 pence a month so I put a 10 minute video up yesterday and I was just sharing a little kind of behind the scenes and what you're going to get from the channel so you can cancel at any time if you did want to but it's just 99 pence so I thought it would be affordable for everybody if they wanted to see a wee bit more um, and just join the little kind of beauty club community on the channel then um, I'll leave the details for that below as well. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. There is an autumn giveaway coming up very soon as well so make sure you've subscribed for that. I will be sharing the details of that either this week or next week. I'm hoping it'll be this week, the end of this week because it's going to be running throughout this month so it'll probably be up for a couple of weeks. I usually do these little giveaways seasonally so this is the second one. There'll be 10 products in the beauty box that I've put together. So these can be beauty, makeup, skincare, perfume and it'll just give somebody a chance to win it. So yeah, I'll let you know when that video comes up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on seeing that and the chance of winning the autumn beauty giveaway. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you click subscribe. If you love beauty, skincare, makeup, unboxing videos, professional tutorials from an expert, a beauty expert, and lots more spas as well on this channel and I do share a lot of wellness tips and advice too. If it's like something you would enjoy, make sure you subscribe. I'll link everything you need to know in the description box below. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you all in the next video.